Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 28. And it came to pass in those days that the Palishitim gathered at their armies together for warfare, to fight with Yashara'el. And Akish said unto El David, Know you assuredly that you shall go out with me to battle, you and your men. And David said to Akish, Surely you shall know, Eth, what your servant can do. And Akish said to El David, Therefore will I make you keeper of my head for ever. Now Shemuel was dead, and all Yashara'el had lamented him and buried him in Ramah, even in his own city. And Shaul had put away those that had familiar spirits, and eth the wizards out of the land. And the Pelishtim gathered themselves together and came and pitched in Shunem. And Shaul gathered eth all Yashara'el together, and they pitched in Gilboa. And when Shaul saw eth the host of the Pelishtim, he was afraid and his heart greatly trembled. And when Shaul inquired of Yahuwah, Yahuwah answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. Then said Shaul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servants said to him, Behold, there is a woman that has a familiar spirit at Ain Do'or. And Shaul disguised himself and put on other raiment, and he went, and two men with him. And they came to the woman by night, and he said, I pray you, divine unto me by the familiar spirit, and bring me him up eth whom I shall name unto you. And the woman said unto him, Behold, you know eth what Shaul has done, how he has cut off eth those that have familiar spirits, and eth the wizards out of the land. Wherefore then lay you a snare for my life to cause me to die? And Shaul swore to her by Yahuwah, saying, as Yahuwah lives, there shall no punishment happen to you for this thing. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up, Eth, unto you? And he said, Bring me up, Eth, Shemuel. And when the woman saw Eth, Shemuel, she cried with a loud voice. And the woman spoke to El Shaul, saying, Why have you deceived me? For you are Shaul. And the king said unto her, be not afraid, for what saw you? And the woman said unto El Shaul, I saw Elohim ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, An old man comes up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Shaul perceived that it was Shemuel, and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Shemuel said to El Shaul, Why have you disquieted me to bring me up? And Shaul answered, I am sore distressed, for the Palishtim make war against me, and Elohim is departed from me and answers me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called you, that you may make known unto me what I shall do. Then said Shemuel, Wherefore then do you ask of me, seeing Yahuwah is departed from you and is become your enemy? And Yahuwah has done to him as he spoke by me. For Yahuwah has rent eth the kingdom out of your hand and given it to your neighbor, even to David. 
because you obeyed not the voice of Yahuwah, nor executed his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Therefore has Yahuwah done this thing unto you this day. Moreover, Yahuwah will also deliver Eth Yashereel with you into the hand of the Palishtim. And tomorrow shall you and your sons be with me. Yahuwah also shall deliver Eth the host of Yashereel into the hand of the Palishtim. Then Shaul fell straightway all along on the earth and was sore afraid because of the words of Shemuel, and there was no strength in him, for he had eaten no bread all the day nor all the night. And the woman came unto El Shaul and saw that he was sore troubled and said unto him, Behold, your handmaid has obeyed your voice, and I have put my life in my hand, and have hearkened eth unto your words, which you spoke unto me. Now therefore, I pray you, hearken also unto the voice of your handmaid, and let me set a morsel of bread before you, and eat, that you may have strength when you go on your way. But... He refused and said, I will not eat. But his servants, together with the woman, compelled him, and he hearkened unto their voice. So he arose from the earth and sat upon the bed. And the woman had a fat calf in the house, and she hasted and killed it, and took flour, and kneaded it, and did bake matzah thereof. And... She brought it before Shaul and before his servants, and they did eat. Then they rose up and went away that night. <laughs>